Welcome everybody, today I'm gonna do my first chronograph test with my Remington Express Hunter 0.177 Nitro Mag 495 FPS Canadian Detuned. This rifle is pretty hard to shoot so I wanted to see if it was my hold or the speed of the pellet. I will be testing it with 4 pellets and I will start right now with Crossman Premier pointed 7.4 grains. I am using my rest to be as straight as possible, but I still got an error. The average of the 5 shots was 555.6 FPS and we got a max spread of 6 FPS which is not a lot. Now let's do the same thing with Crossman Premier Watt Cutter 7.4 grains. The average speed this time is only 405.6 for the same weight pellet and the max spread is 49. The next pellets is gonna be RWS Hobby 7.0 grains, but RWS pellets are very tight in my Crossman rifles. I still wanted to get at least one reading, but instead we got a great example of what you don't want to happen. Now I'm trying to show you that the pellet is still in the breach. I will need to use my pellet seater to make sure I don't get any more jams. And of course I moved a bit my setup and I was getting errors so I needed to reboot my ballistic precision chronograph by Caldwell. So here we go. We are now ready to test the Hobby's 7.0 grains with the pellet seater. Hopefully we can get something better than zero. So as you can see, even if the RWS hobby pellets are a little bit lighter, we got a slower speed with an average of 408 FPS and a max spread of 13 FPS which is not too bad. Now let's see if we can get a little bit more speed with the Crossman Essential, Essentials domed 7.0 grain. I got a couple errors but I believe most of them were my fault because you really need to be lining up right with the sensors and in between pellets I moved the rest a little bit or the chronograph and this is when I started getting errors so this can make it hard to use if you want to do target shooting and record data at the same time. time the dome 7.0 grain had an average of 452 fps and a max spread of 39 fps which is not really great for a lighter pellet overall the premier point at 7.4 grains performed the best in this test and that's a good thing because i got plenty of them this rifle was jamming out of the box and i'm pretty sure the store used it gun cleaner to clean the barrel and mess it up the breech shield I need to chamfer the breach on this rifle soon, like Oshu did in a video I will link in the description. He had better tools. This may or may not prevent jams with RWS or Gamo pellets and Crossman rifles, but it is over for today. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more. Thank you,